Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Wednesday, the 24th day of August, 2022. We're looking today at the topic, asking God the right questions. The Bible says, ask of me and I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance and the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. Psalm 2 and verse 8. Thought for the day. God loves to be asked. Asking is proof of human helplessness and total dependence on God. It has been confirmed that the attitude of inquiry is one posture for seeking divine direction. God loves to be asked. Asking is proof of human helplessness and total dependence on God. Now, what kind of questions are you supposed to ask God? The first one, you can ask God questions like, Lord, is there something you are saying to me that I'm not hearing? Please say it in the language that I can understand. Or, Lord, is there something I'm doing that I'm not meant to do? Please let me see it. Let me know. Or, Lord, what is the mystery behind the struggle of my life? Please show me. As a pastor, you can ask, God, what can I do? for this church to move to the next level? Or what can I do to move my life forward? And when you ask God, don't ask him in anger. There are people who ask God questions as if they are quarreling with him, as if they are challenging him. They use a quarrelsome tone to ask God out of anger. They raise their voices at God at the place of prayer and ask questions like, okay, God, what do you want me to do now? Eh, what? Everyone is testifying about the, your goodness. What about me? Eh? Eh? Even people have invited to church. They are giving testimonies. What, what do you want me to do? Eh? Okay, Lord. Better tell me. Oh, you know. <laughs> that is not how to ask God questions. Ask revelation-based expectation questions. Ask God questions with the mentality that you will hear something from him. Ask with the mentality that God will say something to you. Even if God doesn't say it now, in the course of studying the word, believe that you will hear something from him. Believe that you can hear God, even in the dream of the night. And remember this, God loves to be asked. Asking is a proof of human helplessness and total dependence on God. What's our assignment today? Number one, ask God revelation expectation questions as it will make it easier to get answers from God. Number two, approach God with the attitude of meekness and humility. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for your word to me today. I receive the grace to approach you with the attitude of humility. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Let's pray. I declare today that the Lord answered the most nagging questions of your heart today as you take time to ask in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. I pray for you today. If you are not yet born again, it's so important. That's the first thing to do before you can talk about asking God questions. You want to make your ways right with God today. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, find yourself a Bible-believing church and stay planted. And I pray for you today. Uh, it's your birthday. I wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.